cloud was getting closer. It was spending more and more time hovering around. Laura could tell it was making the others uncomfortable. since stopped listing his observations, but he instinctively observed that this thing was bad. And he'd been right about the water. Huh? <laughs> 
Chris was in love. And that was fantastic and everything, but that didn't mean they could let the doom cloud keep following them. Thomas was going to put his foot down once they got to the next level. see that coming. He felt a little guilty too. Without his love for Laura and subsequent reunion with the guys, Thomas would probably still be with them.
Chris wondered if Thomas was still alive somewhere. He wasn't going to go looking for him, but he did wonder, and, and that, that showed character. Probably. Maybe the others hadn't abandoned Laura all that time ago. It began to dawn on her that she might not be the tragic victim she'd always assumed.
she wasn't needed anymore. something under her breath about a vow of vengeance. He didn't see the point. Fighting that thing seemed to be a pretty futile idea.
struggled to get to the next portal. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. struggled to get to the next portal. John hoped that he would be the next to get eaten. He didn't want to be alone. First time in a while, John didn't have an audience. He was alone. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now. For the first time in a while, John didn't have an audience. alone. Leaping from black square to black square didn't seem nearly as exciting now, it just seemed empty. to jump the massive scary gaps for old time's sake.
had always been different. I'm not different in that kooky, OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane, kind of way. seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out. It'd taken a long time. Thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out. It'd taken a long time. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out. It had taken a long time. He'd not seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy, pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. He'd gotten out, but it had taken a long time. Disregard for Newtonian laws. Hey, Jimmy, where are you going? Up?
The little red guy looked confused. His cage was a lot smaller than James's had been. James decided to find a way to help. Maybe they'd be friends. <laughs> The next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. He knew he had to get back to them. His turquoise hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. If he didn't know better, he'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. and Thomas working together could get anywhere. James didn't seem to understand the immense ability he possessed.
Thomas wondered why the cloud thing had brought them both here. Grudgingly helped Thomas to each portal. He knew that eventually they'd find the others. Then he'd go back to being the weird one again. He decided to enjoy the time they had left. Thomas even want to spend time with James? Was he not repulsed by his weird colour? Did he not care about his inversions? time being. Thank you. 
leaned her wizened head back and laughed. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. she could only hope they might understand of the fountain of wisdom the channel through which all data flowed could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. Or more like an eagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. But she... The red one, who spoke wisely for a lesser, offered Sarah their help. So long as she then helped them save their friends said that he too had wondered at the secrets of this world and would quite like a go on the wisdom fountain. That was okay. Sarah marvelled at his foolishness, but accepted his help. 